the text features in a nonfiction book to find information, information, and and reading, read, read. Mm. To improve my reading skills, I can read more than I do. In science, we have learned about animals and where they live. One area that I feel, that I, feel I have improved upon is math. Okay, so you think you did really good in math? <laughs> what? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you can do it off the top of your head if you don't want to read. Just let her know about your the name of your habitat and what you have in it and all that good stuff. Okay. What you learned about. This is my habitat. It is the desert. The things I put in it is the desert rabbit, a desert cat, because I don't know the name of it, <laughs> an owl, a spider, a scorpion, mm. and a tumbleweed, and a cactus. Okay. It, it is very hot in the desert. And so those... So you need to bring lots of water <laughs> and things that can protect you from how hot it is. Okay. The people who I worked on this is Cheyenne, Megan, Jada, and Dwayne. You all worked on it together? Mm-hmm. So they were in small groups, and then they had they researched it, and then they had to go off on their own and make their own habitats. Oh, okay. As you can see in this, it is nighttime right, right now, and the sun is still out because how hot it is. Okay. And the sand just turned very like tannish color because how hot it is. And you can see the the rabbit jumping in the air. <laughs> close to the stars. Because his feet hot? <laughs> I don't know. He actually doesn't love it. Not me. <sighs> so you want to share some of your writing this morning? I don't know which one you you want to share out the one about the student conference, or you want to read out the one, I think. Um, I forgot which one you chose, dogs or cats? Cats. cats. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, you can share that. I think that's in there. Bless you. That's it. I left it in my desk. Can okay. I go get it? Sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> so we're going on a field trip. I'm feeling it. We're going on a field trip to uh, Fair Oaks Farm. Um, did you send the money in for that? I think she did. I got her permission slip and everything. Okay. And uh, so the Fair Oaks Farm, usually every year we get, we luck up and find, uh, well, we luck up and experience a calf actually having a, a baby. A baby. Uh, and it's, it's every those, time. Every time. We, it, it never fails. It's awesome. It's awesome. Oh, you don't have it? No. That white right kid. Oh. I just didn't see it. Cats are cats are better than dogs. I believe cats are the best pet. First, cats got nine lives, so they live longer than dogs. Second, cats hiss because they see ghosts. Third, cats per cute be better than how they look. All all in all, cats do make the best pet because they have nine lives. They hiss sometimes because they see ghosts <laughs> and cats per super cute. Written by John Casey Mitchell. I know. <laughs> and I was like, what well, they see ghosts? Today. Right. That's why I went, where did you go? Where, where you learn that? I didn't know that, but they hiss because of ghosts. Sometimes they do. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't know that. I was like, I learned something. I didn't know that. I read that. I was like, okay, okay. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to show, Mom? Or 
mom, you have any questions or anything like that? Mm, not really, other than she looks like she's on track. She may be um, not as organized as I expected, mm -hmm. but she looks like she's doing everything she's supposed to. All right, good, 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 okay. But if there's anything um, in the future that you'd like for her to be exposed to, um, we've already started on, I mean, it's not going to be heavy multiplication, but they get a chance to um, experience multiplication and division um, through the arrays that we're working on in our last module. So, okay. Um, I throw in that uh, the array is like if you have uh, three rows and four columns, it's still like four times three. So I'm still throwing that in there okay. so they can get accolade with the uh, verbiage and everything. Um, I have them um, skip counting not only by twos and fives and tens, but I want them to do threes, fours, six, nines, you know, just right, like getting ready. Uh -huh. so, um, that's something that she can do at home. Um, I'm sending home a few um, sites. One is the park uh, site. Uh, which was the actual third grade test that they used to take a while ago, they switched the name. So it'll be the same test or format, but under a different name. So they still have the site up where they can practice. Okay. So for how long? Because one of those sites, they let them play for like 20 minutes, and then they back on YouTube. Like, what happened? Y'all supposed really? to be doing school uh, work. <laughs> yeah, so I'm hoping, you know, this... This will help them because they get to manipulate uh, the drag and drop and mm -hmm. the typing in the answers. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have different ways of um, going about it. So, um, so that's something that I want her to um, kind of get on. Maybe not, if not every day, maybe at least two or three days out of the week. Um, they have the language and the math in there, so reading and math. So. Was there a link or something to that? You know what website she's talking about? It's uh, it's just P A R C C Park, and it'll. Pop up. You gotta log in. Mm -hmm. Nope, no login. You know what she's talking about? Mm -hmm. okay. We all, sometimes we always do it in, in the computer lab or the, te in, or in the computer test. So lab. when you say you're doing schoolwork at home, what do you get on? Some I mostly go on Prodigy or Tinker, but mostly Prodigy because it's fun. And Tinker is a site I found that's really cool. It's about coding, like you can make oh. up your own games and oh. how to get there. So I'm trying to get them, trying to find out what that's they're really interested in. Right. So cool. um, if it's something that they want to do, they can uh, probably start doing their own video games. On right. Their own, so. And how old do you have to be for that? For a video? For no prodigy. Mm -hmm. Oh, because my son, that sounded like something my son would be into, yeah. making his own game. Uh -huh. Now, can we take this? Oh, no. no I know. I was looking like, I want this. So yeah, I'm like, well, it looked like she just showing this. Yeah, that's, the one that I, that's the one I bought for the class last year. Okay. Yeah, and so all the kids, you have them write, and mm -hmm. then you go and get it published, and then... Then you all can purchase however okay. many times you want. Um, they get to have their own um, pictures on there, and um, we'll see how the cover is. I think this my, is my vision is to take pictures of all of them, kind of like looking uh, at me, and I draw like bodies of them, like stick people, and them running, like playing tag or something like that. Aww. So we'll see how it formulates. Okay. Yeah, yeah this was a nice little yeah. idea. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Let me sign in for her. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Mm -hmm. I want you to sign too, cursive. Okay. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Just pencil. Okay. The story? You talking about the story? Hmm. That's the story that. You gotta sign your name in cursive. <laughs> About 9-11. Oh. This is the example. I read the I survived book. Yeah. I'm just doing my best. Oh, that's all we ask. That's all I ask. <laughs> <laughs> that is all I ask. Uh.